Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And this, of course, is the first Die Kitty Die hardcover. And I'm showing this off just because as I record this, we are knee deep into the Christmas shopping season. And right now, DieKittyDie.com is having uh, tremendous sales on everything. The, um, uh, we have three Die Kitty Die hardcovers. Uh, this is the first with this very nice Darwin Cook cover. The last thing I believe that he worked on. Uh, so we have the, this first hardcover. We have the second hardcover, Die Kitty Die Hollywood or Bust. And the third hardcover, uh, Die Kitty Die Heaven and Hell. All three are, um, are available as a package set. Uh, and we've got a very nice price on that. And we also have uh, some other stuff like the Die Kitty Die Doll. Uh, that's deeply discounted, and uh, we also have the Die Kitty Die coloring books for sale. So, um, nothing says Merry Christmas like Die Kitty Die. So, if you want to get a jump on your Christmas shopping, head over there and uh, see what you can get. Uh, and I'll, I'll link uh, to our store in the description below, just to make it easier. Okay, now, what we're going to be discussing today... Oh, and there's the house that I drew. And that is part of a story that I am drawing for Full Mag Magazine, which is a military-themed magazine. Uh, I had drawn a story uh, for its second issue, and this is a story uh, that will be in its third issue. Uh, and I'll be inked by the great Kim DeMolder. So it's a bit of a haunted cowboy reunion. But, okay, on to today's lesson. Let me get some light on. And today, I have wanted to talk about a topic, uh, another much requested topic, which is feet. Uh, how to draw feet. So before we get into... Uh, really how to draw it let's look at the structure of the foot and as always I take what is complicated and I simplify it so when we when we talk about the foot what we're really talking about is this sort of wedge shape with a sphere okay this gives us the basic components to the foot the ankle and the body of the foot over here. So that's what we're looking at. We're looking at this triangular wedge and this sphere, and that's what gives us the basic foot. Now, a couple of other important landmarks to note here is number one, we have this arch of the foot, okay? Starting from the ankle, it curves up and then down for the forward ball of the foot. And then we also have, right around here, we have a hinge, a hinge. And that hinge is what allows us to take a step, okay? So it's, it's kind of like our triangle, that forward wedge can break so that we can take a step, like so. And that's really the basic structure of the foot. Now it becomes a matter of being able to take that ball and that and that wedge and being able to, to turn it around in different ways. So whichever way you want the foot to go, that's what you're doing. You're turning around this wedge and you're turning around this, this triangle. And of course, toes, toes are like small little ovals if you're if you're drawing people barefoot. And you, you want to worry about toes. They, they just sort of extend there from the tip. And you have an ankle. And then facing forward, what we're doing is we're taking that triangular wedge and we're just moving it forward. We're moving it forward like this. So let me do that down here. So if we have the leg, okay. Keep in mind, we will 
this is the inside of the leg, okay? So we have our calf muscles. They are tapering down to the ankle. Now, we often think of the ankle as just this bone that kind of sticks out. Um, and we think of it as, as just sticking out of the outside, but it actually sticks out on both sides. So if we were looking straight on, we'll see the ankle bone come out here, and then it'll come out on the inside of the foot as well, but a little bit higher. So if we were to draw a line from one tip, from the outermost tip of the ankle on the outside, say here, to the outermost tip of the ankle inside, we'd be drawing a slanted line like that. So it comes out there, comes out there, and that is our ankle. Now the foot, of course, is going to be sloping downward, and then we have the forward ball of the foot. Sometimes I like to separate that by just adding it as sort of this uh, ellipse that I'm adding on to the end of my wedge. So the wedge comes down, it swells out, swells out here. And again, if we wanted, if we're drawing bare feet and we want to add on toes, yeah, we could do that. And toes, as I said, they're just tiny ovals. You have your big toe. And then each subsequent toe just gets a little smaller. They're curving. And then you have the other side of the foot. So that becomes a foot. Now sometimes, especially if we're drawing, say, characters in flight, what happens is we end up seeing the underside of the foot. Okay, so if you're drawing characters flying, uh, characters maybe kicking, uh, web swinging, you know, it, anytime where a character is in a position where we're going to see the underside of the foot, we're taking that wedge, that triangle, we're raising it, adding that sphere behind it. And then, as with everything else, we take these basic shapes and we soften them. We add that arch. We're seeing more of the, of the bottom of the foot here. We see that ankle. We could add toes if our guy is, is flying barefoot. And that becomes the foot like that, vaguely from the underside. And the foot, um, regardless of what they're wearing, and, and a lot of times, those of us in comics, we kind of get used to just drawing our characters. If, if, we're, if we've been brought up on superheroes, we tend to think of our characters as just wearing these colorful socks. You know, they, their boots are just these socks that, that just cling tightly to their basic shape. Um, but most footwear, shoes, boots, real boots, what have you, um, adds a little bit more heft to the foot. So there's probably a little bit more happening here and a little bit more detail. Um, anytime I'm going to draw a shoed foot, a shoe wearing foot or a boot wearing foot or a sneaker wearing foot, I'll draw that foot, I'll draw the basic shape of that foot first, okay? As though the foot were bare or just, or just wearing socks. And then what I do is I draw the shoe, the details of the shoe over that foot. And that gives the shoe a little bit more heft, a little bit more dimension. It, it, it makes it seem like that shoe is really on a foot and not light as if the shoe were the, the foot itself. So that's, that's all there is to it. That's, uh, that's, that's the basics for the foot. Um, the total underside of the foot, if we wanted a sort of footprint shape is, would be kind of like this. Again, toes. Do I give them the right amount? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Sometimes I 
give them mute, a mutant sixth toe without realizing it. That's your basic footprint. You've got these, these forward pads of the foot. This is the arch and then the heel. Okay, the heel curves and swells down there. Okay, so that is a few tips that will hopefully get you started on feet. I hope this helps. I hope, so. I hope with uh, this knowledge you will now never be defeated. Get it? Okay, I'll stop now before you unsubscribe. Um, uh, so uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this. Um, if you if you liked what you saw, uh, please support the channel by clicking like, subscribing. Uh, that always helps. Um, and just uh, keep catching more videos. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified about future videos. Um, I, I usually try to do about two a week, uh, usually Mondays and Tuesdays. Uh, but we, we'll see how it goes. Um, but thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.